10 signs of an emotionally unavailable man. Well, it's happened to almost every woman. You're dating this new gorgeous, funny attentive guy and the relationship is going great. But after a few weeks with him, you're finding yourself in the middle of a Sex and the City episode with you in the role of Carrie, looking all confused with Big's behaviour. Sound familiar? If so, then this is one of the first signs of an emotionally unavailable man. Number one, he likes to move fast. Relationships have a natural flow of things. We need some time to adapt to another human being, time to get to know them and become comfortable around them. Emotionally unavailable men tend to skip this part and focus more on the physical connection rather than the emotional one. Basically, they want the sex without the other things that come with it. Things like intimacy, sharing feelings and relationship responsibilities. They do this because they want to avoid the part of a relationship that involves opening up to someone. Why does he do this? Because he's trying to detach himself from anything emotionally. Don't get me wrong, they adore sex just as women do. They just don't want what the sex is going to bring in their life and out of the relationship. How to deal with a man who moves too fast? Talk with your partner. Explain that developing physical intimacy happens on a mutual basis and understanding. That it's not something that occurs only when one of the partners desires. This way, you can both practice slowing down and learning about each other's desires rather than skipping this important part of getting to know one another. Number two, every day is an emotional roller coaster. Have you found yourself extremely happy with everything that's been going on in the relationship? But then he acts out all weird and you haven't heard from him in a week. An emotionally unavailable man can put you through such an excessive emotional roller coaster. It can be almost exhausting. One day he might be telling you how much he loves you and the next day he might be telling you that he needs a break from all of this. They do this out of fear that the relationship is going to require him to show emotions, vulnerability and being open to another human being and they don't want that. True, in every healthy relationship each of the partners should take some time for themselves. However, taking a break from your relationship is not a sign of a healthy way of communicating emotion. How to handle the emotional roller coaster. The longer you wait on this issue, the harder it will be to solve. If you notice the early signs, talk with your partner. Acknowledge his behaviour. Remind him that it's a safe space to share something that bothers him instead of showing passive aggressive behaviour. Number three, he's a perfectionist. Have you ever heard the sentence, ugh, that dress just doesn't look good on you, you need to work out more, or why do you dance that way? You look stupid. Or something similar. Well, maybe not literally like that, although that does happen. But you get the idea. Emotionally unavailable men seek perfection in a mate for one reason only. They are deeply insecure. Since they're insecure and don't want to show any sign of a vulnerable exposure, they comfort themselves with the thought that no one is good enough and they don't need to open up to anyone. I know too many guys who won't meet with a girl they like simply because their attitude is, ugh, but she definitely has some flaws, so why bother? It's easier to set our issues aside and judge everyone else for who they are rather than open up and have a chance for a decent human connection, right? How to deal with a perfectionist man. This might come as a shock to them, but newsflash, we all have flaws. But in a healthy relationship, they're almost unnoticeable. Perfectionists tend to forget this fact and they can be very critical. So the best thing you can do here is to remind them and see whether that will result in changed behaviour. Number four, it's all about him. If it's all about their needs, wants, desires and feelings, this might be a sign of an emotionally unavailable man. For example, you only see each other on his terms or when he's available. He doesn't invest time in the relationship or even forgets important things to you like birthdays or an issue with your boss that you've shared with him. But it's not just that. Even when you do see each other he might seem distant or distracted or not at all interested in whatever you're sharing with him. The problem with this kind of self-absorption comes from their way of thinking about superiority. 
which is just another sign of insecurity. This way, they can avoid creating a true connection with another human being. What to do when it's all about him? This issue is related to risks. The lack of risks an emotionally unavailable man is willing to take and this prevents them from getting close or sharing emotions and feelings. This one might be challenging to handle, but the best thing to do is to let him know that no one knows how things will turn out. It's about the journey between two people, regardless of how it will end. Keeping himself at a distance to prevent himself getting hurt is not a healthy way to go through life, and it's unfair on you. Number five, he's keeping everything to himself. In a relationship, trust and love aren't built solely on talking about each other's feelings all the time. It's about sharing every aspect of our lives with our partner, letting them into our lives. Emotionally unavailable men don't do this. It's not only about their lack of sharing romantic emotions with you. It's about every emotion. If they had a bad day at work or a horrible fight with a family member, he's probably not going to share with you how he actually feels about it. He might let you know that a certain thing has happened, but nothing more than that. It's more like he chooses consciously to avoid sharing or having emotions about the issue, as if that will somehow solve the problem. By not sharing something, he chooses to not build the trust in this relationship, and that's another reason for him to end it, eventually. How to deal with a man who keeps everything to himself? By pointing out this issue, you may not get anything in return. Being patient and persistent with building the trust among you two is the best thing you can do here. Start with talking a bit every now and then about your life and see how he'll act on it. But be aware of your own limits and how much you're willing to invest into making it work. Number six, he's not comfortable when you share emotions. Here's one harsh truth. Emotionally unavailable men are not in line with their own emotions. Therefore, they're not able to respond accordingly to your emotions. It's like the brain turns on the panic button once you share any kind of emotion, and they just want to get out of that situation. If he's acting nervous, angry, frustrated when you share any kind of feeling, you might be dealing with an emotionally unavailable man. They're not used to dealing with emotions, and they will try to avoid it at all costs. How to deal with a man who's not used to dealing with emotions? It takes time to learn and understand empathy, and if someone hasn't been doing much about it all his life, it may be overwhelming. If he wants to become better at this, there are books, TED Talks, and many YouTube videos on how to work on developing his empathy, which will help him understand other people better. This can be one effective way for him to raise his EQ, and with a lot of patience and understanding, he can be more comfortable with your emotions. Number seven. He doesn't take responsibility for his actions. If he made a mistake or said something wrong, he thinks the problem he's caused will solve itself by itself. In other words, he doesn't take responsibility for his actions. Here's the thing with these types of men, with the way they are. They're hurting a lot of people. Sure, we all hurt someone at one point or another. No one's perfect. But the difference with the emotionally unavailable men it's that they don't feel any remorse or regret for the hurt they've caused. Some men don't feel the need to apologise for their behaviour simply because they might not be familiar with empathy. Empathy is the ability to recognise how our actions and words can make other people feel. And since they can't acknowledge their own emotions, they certainly can't acknowledge if they've hurt someone else. How to make them see the consequences of their actions. If a man does something that upsets you, tell him up front and as clean as possible. It's easier to use passive-aggressive methods just to show him that you're hurt. But honest communication is key here. He needs to work on his self-awareness to actually see the consequences of his actions. And you can help him get there by being honest with him. Number eight, bad behavior with people in general. Bad behaviour with waiters, taxi drivers, bus drivers and such is a sign of calculated behaviour from these men. Treating anyone with disdain or rude behaviour should always be a red alert for any woman. I mean, if he's treating these people that way, what's stopping him from treating you that way down the road? What to do when this happens? Since this doesn't involve you directly, 
It's a tough one to deal with. No one likes to have a partner who treats other people badly. You can point this out to him once it happens, but the truth is, he might not see it even then. So the best thing to do is to work with him on his empathy and in time, hopefully, he'll be able to improve his relations with other people as well. Number 9. He's always trying to flirt with you. Emotionally unavailable men will flirt with you on a regular basis. Some of them will do this just so they can, once again, prevent their vulnerability from happening. Others will do it simply because they prefer the chase rather than the catch. Most of them do the flirting to get what they want from you, which is, once again, a sign of their self-centred way of thinking. How to deal with a flirtatious partner? This one is usually harmless, but if it happens on a regular basis, ask him openly. Is he trying to achieve something with this behaviour? Ask, what are his intentions? And see how he'll react. Number 10. There's nothing wrong with them. It's always other people's fault. Men of this kind think of themselves extremely highly. As I already mentioned, they tend to be perfectionists. They also consider themselves flawless and like there's nothing wrong with them. Which is why it's convenient for them to always blame others for any problem that occurs. Blaming others gives them a sense of power and control over the situation. Additionally, it gives them justification for their own actions. How to deal with a man who always blames others? Emotionally unavailable men use manipulation quite often. Next time you notice something like this is happening, point it out immediately. Let him know that you're aware of his intentions and that you won't allow yourself to be manipulated. When it comes to emotionally unavailable men, it's never black and white. The truth is, they do have feelings, sometimes even more than usual. The problem is that most of the time they don't know how to acknowledge them express them or even recognize them. The trick is to know whether a guy is someone who struggles to show his emotions or is someone who will always remain emotionally unavailable. One quick way to find out is if you try to communicate your frustration to a guy and you're met with complete resistance or argument then this is a warning sign that he will probably never change. If that's the case then it might be time to walk away from the relationship. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons and leave a comment below this video to let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment below this video to let me know what you would like to see next, what type of videos you want me to create for you. I'll be able to respond back to you as soon as possible. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. And thanks for watching.